Yes. There's plenty of Depeche Mode in Death Cab. Yeah. I think especially sort of like for me with Violator, just like listening to sounds. I spent a good solid year of my life where I was convinced that I was Dave Gahan. I spent a whole year of my life uh, just trying to perfect my karaoke version of Shake the Disease and then sort of morphing into the Martin Gore part, the understand me, that part. I think um, Enjoy the Silence is one of the, the best pop songs ever. I think they're kind of important in terms of like a crossover though, you know, because a lot of a lot of kind of rock fans really into Depeche Mode. They're, for a long time they're seen as a, like a rock band. They're probably one of the, the bands like through the 80s that, that was sort of writing big pop tunes, but also sort of maintained a, a real credibility amongst sort of like a, you know, kind of indie audience as well. Their sound is, is really, really dancey, and obviously it influences a lot of dance music now. And I kind of like that you could go into, like, I don't know, an, an indie rock club or whatever, anywhere in the world, and you can pretty much guarantee they'll play a Depeche Mode song. You find that we are kind of good bedfellows to Depeche Mode because we are melancholic and poppy and dancey. The producers will be in the studio, and we might he might be behind the console, and we'll do a take, and we're feeling really good about it. He's like... I'm just hearing this one thing, and then he busts out a Depeche Mode record. <laughs> Depeche Mode has always had some great, great stuff at dance clubs for me. Early in the project, I was trying to figure out a way to make electronic music work on stage, and they were a great way to look at it. Like, they made, they made it work. The lyrics are always kind of connecting with people too, it's like Bob Dylan. They ma maintained like a real credibility through that period where maybe, you know, some of the other artists that, that started out like that, like maybe Duran Duran just totally crossed over and became, you know, almost a bit of a parody by the end, whereas they kind of um, sort of really maintained their, um, their integrity. Violator is, is an amazing album. Anyone could like Depeche Mode. Depeche Mode is like it's my maybe one of my top two or three favorite bands like ever, ever, ever. We're just ripping them off. <laughs> I wanted to um, ask you, for a lot of our viewers who are watching our empty viewers who are, who are new Depeche Mode fans, and Sands of the Universe might be their first album that they're buying from the band, if you could recommend five singles for them to download to, from your back catalogue to kind of g get them geared up for this new album, which five singles would you recommend? Oh, let me see. Enjoy the silence. Words are very Personal Jesus. Which one? Somebody. S somebody? Yeah, yeah somebody. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Yeah. Never <laughs> let me down. Again. Mm -hmm. I was saying this to Dave earlier, but um, just I... can't get enough. Somebody. <laughs> somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there's five. I only say that one because I know so many. Like I said, so many girlfriends in, in my office who lost her virginity to that song. Right. Yeah, I hear that a lot. A funny fact: about half of the women in our MTV studios admitted that they lost their virginity to a Depeche Mode song. So. <laughs> well, you there say you go. to a Depeche Mode star. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be a way better story. <laughs> Do you think it's weird when you hear like a Marilyn Manson or a Hilary Duff um, covering your songs or, you know, Johnny Cash covering your song? Is that weird or strange? Well, or? obviously, it was a, a real honour to have Hilary Duff cover us. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that. Have you heard that? Have you heard <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that any good? It, it's, well, it's not a straight cover. It's a bit like that English one, you know, that's uh, where it's just taking the music thing, and, yeah. use, and it just does like the reach out and touch me, though, it says, yeah. I think.
<laughs> is, so, is it weird? Is that I think, it, I think uh, just for Martin, I know Johnny Cash was uh, a big honour uh, for Martin. Johnny Cash covered it as well. And um, I remember I was working on a solo record and my, I spoke to mine on the phone and he said, oh, do you know Johnny Cash covered Personal Jesus? I said, yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. And uh, Mark was like, yeah, I suppose so. And I said, Mark, it's like Elvis covering one of your songs. So, I mean, it's it's flattering. It's really is it? Yeah, of because course. you've had like this influence over bands of like the last twenty years, and it kind of spans across genres. Too, yeah, right? I mean, it's like it's a real kind of testament, really, not just to the the band itself, but to the songwriting. So I I said to you know to, to Martin, it's it's something to be really proud of. <laughs> Obvious bands that we play on MTV. I mean, you look at the Killers or MGMT, obviously a Depeche Mode influence, um, but also artists you wouldn't think, like Linkin Park, you know, who, and Mike Shinoda says, um, he said in one of our interviews that you were the most influential band of our time. Does that influence you've had over so many bands of so many different genres over the last like 20 years? Do you notice that even? I think it's nicer when you have someone like uh, Linkin Park, you know, don't sound like us. Um, and, and for him, for Mike to say that we're, we're his heroes sort of thing, you yeah. know, that's quite nice, I think that's nicer rather than, I mean, not that I think the killers are not copying Depeche Mode or anything, you know, I think they're, you know, I, li I like it when it's someone completely different. Well, the killers, definitely, I like what they do, um, I, and I hear us in sort of other stuff as well, in a different way, uh, more sort of melancholy way, there's stuff like Interpol, I like, um, I really like Kings of Leon. I'm sure they're not fans of Depeche at all, but I like what they do. I never really hear it directly. You don't. There's not anyone that really sounds exactly like us. But it is nice that all these uh, citations of, uh, of, you know, of influence come from you know, so many different genres. You know, it's not just like we only influenced the techno field or something. MGMT, I think, was my record of last year. Total, and you can hear Depeche Mode yeah. in MGMT. I mean, you really can. Well, I think we do really like MGMT, which right. is nice that they, you know, they, they like us as well. I don't know, do you want me to call my, my daughter? <laughs> what are the right answers <laughs> to say right now? This, no, it's hilarious. <laughs> There's a scene going on there called techno, which is uh, which is very European electronic based sort mm -hmm. of thing with with sort of black influence. 